Ah, does this look familiar to you? I hope so. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at the contents of the Windows 95 CD-ROM and explore many hidden programs that comes with it. So without further ado, let's start. So, this is what the contents of the CD-ROM looks like. You have the main setup.exe, which is to install Windows 95, obviously. And we have a lot of folders there. We have an autorun.inf and readme, which doesn't explain much of the contents of the CD-ROM. So let's start off with the admin folder. The admin folder contains tools available for OEMs or original equipment manufacturers to remotely deploy Windows 95 or configure the Windows 95 installation. You may notice that there is a setup program called Uke.exe. When run, you will notice that there's a MS-DOS prompt saying that this tool is for Microsoft OEM channel partners only. Unfortunately, I am not an OEM partner, but that doesn't stop me from exploring the contents of the admin folder. So first, let's take a look at the app tools folder. Right here, we got this ridiculous path names assuming to make it MS-DOS friendly. For example, we've got MVARS, left back, pull at, pull at, slip, and touch it. Let's start off with the MVARS folder. So those two programs here are responsible for the Windows NT logon script. For example, if this machine were to be hooked up to a Windows NT server, whoever gets permission to modify or change the wallpaper, modify the theme, and more. So that is the Envara folder. So left back is a hard disk utility program for recovering long file names for Windows 95. If you're not aware, Windows 95 was the first consumer operating system that allows 256 characters file name. Prior to that, you can only get to like 8. And ironically, Live Back won't work with like Norton Utilities by Peter Norton Computing. Who remembers that company? PC2 is by Central Point Software Incorporated. Microsoft Defragmenter for MS-DOS version 6.0, 6.2, 6.21, and 6.22, and Stacker 4.0 by Stack Electronics. Though, unfortunately, we can't use Liveback if we have some of the programs installed, which is kind of ironic. So, long file name backup, pretty much. Next up is Pull-It. Now, think of group policy on Windows. I will show you an example because with this tool, system administrators can add it to using the add and remove programs under Windows setup. You may notice that we have two additional software to install. So let's do that. Now, the tools has been installed. So you need to go to start, programs, accessories, system tools, and now you see system policy editor. Let me load the current registry and you may be seeing this local user and local computer. Now with the local user, I can change permissions of or change the style of the Windows 95 machine. So for example, I want this user that I'm currently on to not have access to the display properties control panel. I can simply just restrict the display control panel and just disable the, the display control panel. And now I need to click save and now your system administrator disabled the display control panel. And this also works if you try to open it from there. I can also restrict the user from accessing the network control panel as well as you can see here. So this is like group policy, but this is not really group policy on Windows NT because this is on Windows 95, which is DOS space. So that is pull it. Next up is pull it. Pull it or password editor, as it says here, or the password list editor allows system administrator to view the accounts password credentials on products like Microsoft Office or Microsoft Exchange. 
For example, I have a Microsoft Exchange client on my Windows 95 machine. As you can see, I can log in and I can see all these emails that I sent to, well, you see people there. Now, similarly with the poll edit or the policy editor, I could add or remove the program using Windows setup. Now you see there's password list editor. So we can go ahead and install that. And like with system policy editor, it's located at system tool. So this may look different for you. You might be saying, why do I have this to mail type here? As I said, I have an exchange server. I did not want to set up facts. I have an exchange server hooked up to my Windows 17 machine. However, as a system administrator here, I can remove the credentials needed to log into my exchange server. Now I have those deleted. And then when I run the inbox, you maybe notice that my password has changed and I need to log in to my uh, SMTP server. Unfortunately, I kind of forgot the password. That's not it. That's not it. Okay, well, don't worry about it. So on, I'm offline. I do not want facts, but yeah, I'm offline. So that is the pull edit or the password list editor. Next up is slip. And slip is it says slip support for you to dial up networking. Unfortunately, I cannot showcase that because I don't have dial up and this virtual machine does not have dial up at all. Lastly, we're going to take a look at the please it folder, which is the Windows NT time zone handler. For example, I'm in mountain time. But I can add the um, Mountain Standard Time to Mountain Daylight Time. Something like that. Click OK. Click Close. And there's a help file associated with it so you can like get help with that. You can pause the video if you want to see the, in the information here. OK, that will do it for the App Tools folder. Next up is Net Tools or so Network Tools. Uh, B Setup. B Setup or Batch Setup. This, was, this is version 2.4 released on July 30th, 1996. If you're unaware, Windows 95 supports 32 bit partially. Not fully like Windows NT, but enough to run like 32 bit programs on Windows, on Windows 95 because Windows 95 still relies on DOS and DOS being 16 bit, and there are many 16 bit applications on Windows. Windows NT 4.0 was probably still in development at that time. You can technically run this on Windows NT 4, which came out at the same well not the same year that windows 95 came out but a year later so let me go in and run this windows back setup setup so now it is located on my c drive program files backs and backs on the exit now i can type in my the appropriate use information here however if i'm lazy i can just import it from the registry and there you go tech Company name, technology by computer name, tech, work group, work group, description tech. And when I click done, I can save it as a .inf file so I can like add it to my other machine for deployment. And if I can recall correctly, there it is. There's BS setup .inf, which contains the necessary information about the inf file. Next up is FAC or FAC. Inside of here, we get this weird, random, nice uh, files here. Next up is Netmon. I'm assuming this is Network Monitoring. Yep, Network Monitoring Agent. The Netmon folder includes the software for the protocol driver and agent for Microsoft Network and Monitor. So let's run that. Though I can't run... Okay, well that's weird. Okay, that doesn't work. Next up is PRTA or Print Agent. I'm assuming this is the Print Agent. Yep, this is the print agent for Netware Networks. Unfortunately, I am not using Novell's Netware Network, so I can't showcase that. Remote Reg is probably Remote Registry. So this allows administrators to configure the registry on this computer remotely. Next up is RPC PP. This is the Microsoft RPC Print Provider, not the other thing. Get your head out of your bucket. 
the Microsoft Remote Procedure Call, that's what RPC stands for, Current Provider Enhanced Network Printing and Remote Administration by providing the full set of Win32 APIs required for a Windows 95 client to administer printer queues on Windows NT servers. So those are the DLL files that is needed to enhance the NT server communication. Lastly is SNMP. It's going to the help file. This is the SMMP agent. So I can't run this as a um, standalone application. So that's it for the Net Tools folder. Lastly, we're gonna take a look at Risk Kit. I'm assuming this is Resource Kit. So let's go ahead and take a look out at the help file here. That is the tool for admin. So this is guided tool for administrators. Windows 95 we do support costs. Better user interface. And can you believe it? That's right, people. What you're seeing right now is the help file that you can load even if you're offline. So you don't need to rely on internet connections or open up Microsoft Ads. Got all the information here offline on your fingertips. A better user interface. So for more information, I can just click on Start Menu and take a look at that. It pops up a separate window explaining in more detail what the start button does. Remember, you can always pause the video for if you want to read out the whole information. Next up is plug and play. Plug and play. If you're unaware, Windows 95 is the first consumer oriented operating system from Microsoft to support plug and play technology. Now, what does plug and play do? For example, if you install hardware like a new printer or a new scanner, boot up Windows 95, it will show up that there's a new hardware found and Windows is automatically trying to, is finding the driver and installing it. Prior to that, you have to modify the um, INR, the win.ini file, but Windows 75 take the hassle out of doing that. Unfortunately, Windows NT 3.1, 3.51, and 4.0 lack plug and play. Plug and play was made available for Windows NT oriented operating system starting Windows 2000 or Windows NT 5.0. The 32-bit operating system architecture. This is the last help topic that I'll be going to. If you want to take a look at all of it, it's located at the admin risk kit help file and tour for admin. Next up is Mac users, and this is interesting. There's a help file dedicated for Macintosh users switching to Windows. And what I like about this is it displays some graphics for the end user to see what Windows 95 differ from the Macintosh or System 7 when this came out. Remember, you can only pause the video to get the more deep dive information of it. Next up is Win95 Arcade, which is a um, an introduction to the Windows 95 Resource Kit. Lastly, the Samples folder. In the Policy folder, the directory contains sample policy files and a sample custom policy template for Windows 95 networks. 
as you can see here. So this is used for setup scripts or when you're setting up Windows 95. And that concludes the admin folder in the Windows 95 CD-ROM. Next up is the auto run folder. And the auto run folder contains, well, the auto run window. And the icon associated with the auto run.exe. Next up, we got a data link folder. Now, this is an interesting program here. Timex and Microsoft collaborated together to make a piece of software where consumers owning a Timex data box where people can just start writing their like appointments to do do's and have it sent to your box. In fact, there's a video or should I say an advertisement of Timex data link. Take a look. The revolutionary new Timex data link watch uses light beams to transfer dates and data from your computer to your wrist with just a touch of your paw. Pretty smart, eh? The Timex Data Link Watch. So yeah, you just saw the video, but now let's install Timex Data Link on a virtual machine. I like all the fact that some of the interfaces have like Windows NT or Windows 3.1 dial window and you can see it open up a, uh, a program file and I can run the, run the program right in the back it's doing quote unquote calibrations for my monitor and auto calibration is complete so again it you're going to the tutorial of how to properly use a Timex data link now some people are lucky to own these type of walks however i don't so i need to use this imaginary walk so you would be hearing so i need to press the walks mode button repeatedly to enter calm mode there we go it says calm mode oh calm ready and i have to hold my box within 6 12 inches away from my monitor And I can orientate my watch to any angle for some reason. Seriously, who does that? But now I need to calibrate the watch, but there is a sample tone which you can hear here. And when you choose the next button, so I have my watch in the monitor here. And you hear it beeping. So I can press the space bar. And yes, the watch did beep. Thanks for asking. Congratulations, you are now ready to enter the world of wireless PC to watch communications. Data okay, I can see it's ready. I need to skip the watch too. There we go. It's come ready, and here we go. I want to inform you guys that what you're about to see contains flashing lights. If you cannot withstand flashing lights, look away until I until I say, okay, you can look back. Here we go. And it's beeping and it's already transmitting data to my imaginary watch. Okay, you can look back now. And yay, transmission completed to my imaginary box. And those are the sample data that was transferred. And here we are. This is the uh, the Timex data link interface that you can like set up appointments, anniversaries, time settings, phone numbers, to do lists, and all that good stuff. Now, for example, let's say I want to uh, make an appointment on the 24th around uh no we're not 10 15 a.m but like around well, like seven o'clock in the morning release vid for actually no oh yeah by the way you cannot go back so vid for membership or members
now i need to make a new event on the 25th and i can release it on the same day with seven o'clock in the morning because that's where all my viewers are up for some reason actually no i should probably release it around like three o'clock in the afternoon because people are at school and well stuff Fan for everyone or every on because limitations and on the 27th or actually not on the 26th i can at the 12 o'clock in the morning develop a game so that fits and on april 20th i need on from the in the morning celebrate atp and i can then the day and uh in the next 20 days but no i'm actually want 80 days so i can have all the events added apparently this is still there so as you can see the watch memory that alone takes around eight percent next up is anniversaries I do have an anniversary, so first and foremost, one is being April 30th, 21, which is game release one year, one Y. And actually, I have a anniversary. I have an anniversary on April 25th, 21. Friends for one year or one friends for one Y and six for one cake. I can send anniversaries bring within one year. And that alone takes 14%. Now time settings is pretty much what it says here. Apparently, me needs some kind of time. Phone numbers. Yeah. Um. My code. Standards. At perfect time. And phone number is 101, 101, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I call. Somewhere I'm in it. Next up is. Technologues goodbye. Or Technologues goodbye. And his number is 323 444. And his number and his number is 444 Home and ATP storages and his number is 999 That would be home. In fact, he has a workplace so ATP work workspace which is 8-800-1-1-2-0-9-8-7 And that would be 4 And Microsoft David Which is also perfect fit Then it's number 555-555-6969 And that would be for Car No, actually not car, pager Then they select the phone numbers And that alone takes 27% of a box member. To do this, feed cat. That will be on the highest. Get call for ATP. Now I need to call for ATP, and that will be on the, the medium highest. Uh, next is call tech, and that will be on the second highest. Fifth is develop games, which will be on the medium. The sixth reminder could be, well, finding concrete, which would be on the mid low. And lastly, on the lowest is making videos. That would be on the lowest. And I'm going to send this liquid task and Look at that, 37%. So 
So I would set up alarms, so like set up for like daily. So like that, so like that. And like center marks. Now this will display a series of flashing lines, or what I call guitar screen. If you do not like flashing lights, look away until I say it's okay to look back. And it is now sending data to my watch or my imaginary watch because I do not have a Timex data watch. Okay, and all done. So that is a Timex data link or the data link folder. Next up is the demos folder. And this is where it gets interesting. So Microsoft added all those demo folders, which contain like product promotions, product demos, and all that stuff. We're going to start off at 3D MM, which is Microsoft 3D Movie Maker for kids. So let's go ahead and do that under um, some kids. 3D Movie Maker and I love the fact that old programs ask you to switch to 256 colors because it looks better than well true color but uh yeah this looks very familiar welcome to the special trial version yep tape and it tells you the tutorial of what to do camera angle let's do that uh, select an anchor like that and uh, I got this guy staring over here and an animation click the actor uh, Walk walk fast And I can actually do that and he hit the pole well embedded in the pole and it's what it looks like Cool, but now we want to add an animation of him falling over so, uh, let's fall over here. Click OK. And there you go. That's what it looks like. And that's my movie. That guy falls over. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so I like the crit. Uh, get rid of the changes. And that is Duty Movie Maker. Next up is AutoMap or Microsoft AutoMap Demo. This is apparently a navigational tool that Microsoft made for, well, stuff. So let's start with Trip Planner. Hi, I'm here to tell you about Microsoft AutoMap Trip Planner. The complete travel guide and road atlas that helps you plan better trips. You tell them, dear. Um, that's my mother. Sweetheart, tell them about the family vacations we used to take when you were little. Remember those trips? Sure, Mom. How could I forget? Seemed like we drove for years. Dad would get lost and refuse to admit it. Us kids were bored out of our skulls. Well, we didn't have AutoMap Trip Planner back then, so planning road trips wasn't quite so easy. This is exactly my point, Mom. AutoMap Trip Planner helps you plan better trips, so the whole family will have more fun and fonder memories. That's my boy. For starters, Trip Planner comes with classic drives. These prepackaged guided tours are a guaranteed great road trip. Well, that's nice, dear, but let's use Trip Planner to organize a customized trip to Las Vegas for me and your father. Uh, Mom, I was going to use Trip Planner to design a trip to Yellowstone in the Grand Canyon with Joan and the kids. The route wizard walks you through all the steps to planning your trip. You choose where you want to start. You get the idea. And thanks to the people who made this possible. But let's go with Trip Plus. Let me ask you a question. How much time do you spend in your car? Well, does a truck count? I don't drive a fancy car like you, but I do drive a lot. Yes, Dad, a truck counts. Look, I'm here to talk to these people about Microsoft Automap Streets Plus, so... So, what does it do? It's great for people who are in their cars a lot. Whether it's making deliveries, navigating a new city, mapping out your kid's carpool route. This version of Streets Plus features all new maps with over 6 million miles of road. It will pinpoint virtually any street address in the United States. Really? 
Well, how about your home address? When was the last time you checked to see if that was still on the map? That's a great idea, Dad. Let's check it out. You just type in as much of the addresses you know, and Streets Plus will... Okay, so that's the streets. What's the plus? With Streets Plus, you can do more with your map. In addition to finding addresses, you can customize your map with your own information. You know that brochure I use to promote my company? Yeah. I created that map in Streets Plus and then just pasted it into my brochure. It shows where I'm located and how to get to me. You use Streets Plus? Every day. But I know a good idea when I see one. Streets Plus makes my maps more useful. Now that's a plus. That's Microsoft all the map Street Plus and special thanks to all these people and products who made it possible. And that is Microsoft Automap. You can actually run the demo immediately from in this folder here. And to here and so on. Next is Microsoft Bookshelf for BS that thing. At 9.35 p.m., he needs information about the current cultural and economic climate in Japan. Alex's company is considering expansion into the Japanese market, and his executive summary is due tomorrow. The libraries are closed. Alex cannot possibly know all the statistics and insights he needs, but his computer knows. That's because he'll use the ultimate productivity tool, Microsoft Bookshelf 1996-97 edition. Now in its seventh release, Bookshelf provides one-click access to the information contained in nine essential reference works, including an encyclopedia, almanac, dictionary, quotations collection, event chronology, thesaurus, and zip code directory. And new this year, Bookshelf has added a world atlas, plus a comprehensive internet directory. Watch as Alex uses Bookshelf to get his work done. The first thing Alex notices is the new streamlined look of Bookshelf's improved visual interface. Alex doesn't know it, but that interface is the result of nearly a decade of research about the way people use information. He is getting quicker, easier access to more information than ever before. The seamless integration of the Bookshelf Library provides automatic one-step searching across all nine references. It ensures the most thorough search is performed and the most relevant answers are delivered. Now, Alex moves with one click from the map in his dictionary to the concise Encarta World Atlas, where Alex will find all new maps. He'll so, yeah, that is a closer look at Microsoft Bookshelf or BS, according to that um, video frame. But um, first and foremost, people, do your work and don't slack off and wait until the deadline or wait until tomorrow. But apparently that's what Microsoft can come up with because that guy didn't do research or even worked on the Japan project for days on end and he decided to work on it the day before it's due. Congratulations. Nice excuse. Next up is CarPoint. Which I'll run the demo right now. Unfortunately, apparently the CarPoint background music is copyrighted from YouTube. So unfortunately, I have to mute this part out to prevent any content ID claims or any copyright strikes I might get for playing the background music of Microsoft CarPoint. I know it sucks, but uh, well, you just gotta live with it, you know.
Microsoft CarPoint, the smartest way to buy your next car. So yes, this is Microsoft CarPoint. Microsoft thought it was a good idea to start to own car buying business where you go to Microsoft CarPoint, buy a car, get a car, and do stuff with the car. I'm pretty sure they're still not around, but uh, like it's interesting that Microsoft uh, decided to uh, start a car point business, I guess. Next up is Incardia. This predates Wikipedia for those of you wondering. To engage, what does it mean to come together, to launch into, to involve, entertain, captivate, fascinate? Gross! That's just the kind of pet my little brother would like. For millions of people around the world, the award-winning Encarta Encyclopedia makes learning more engaging. And now, Encarta 97 Encyclopedia is more comprehensive and compelling than ever before. Featuring more than 100 videos and animations. Start, two, one, zero, and liftoff! Liftoff, Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. More than 950 maps. Over nine and a half hours of high quality, digitally recorded sound. You get the idea, that's Microsoft Encarta 97. This predates Wikipedia, for those of you wondering out there. Next up is Greet. So, again, like last time, this music playing for the background audio is copyrighted from YouTube, so I have to voice over this part because, well, again, I do not want to risk my channel getting copyright struck over a background music, so you gotta live with it. I know, I'm sorry, it sucks. Yeah, you get the idea. That is um, Hallmark um, gift shop that you can actually like make gift cards and all that stuff. And unfortunately, the, the music is copyrighted, but uh, you get the idea. Now we got hardware. Let's take a look at what hardware has to offer. I like the Easy Ball because it's correction. He loves the Easy Ball. The friendly, comfortable design makes cursor control easy. So he's building confidence with the computer right from the start. I could do it all by myself. One of the big advantages of Easy Ball. I like to hold it in my lap. Yep. Easy Ball's my new friend. The large size and the I can just leave him to play with his friends and they do fine. Or sometimes we play together. We can connect my mouse and... Look, Mommy, I can make my bunny rather hop. He can always tell which cursor belongs to him because he chose his own playing the point. Easy Ball is the perfect mouse. Okay, I don't know why it's bad, but that's Easy Ball, I guess. And that's. And we got X Bender. Three. Oh, there it is. Microsoft Hellbender. Saw that. Yep. That's Doll Hellbender. Yep. Yep. I saw that. And we need to start the right X, and I'm pretty sure this is a 2.0 ver- Yep, X is a 2.0 version. And I do not want to install the computer. So I'll take a look at Hellbender when I install the computer. MSB. Is Miss Frizzle here oh, yet? Oh god. Oh god. Memories. Here's your chance to see how much of an adventure driving the magic school- Thanks for putting into the
that's the product information for those of you wondering. I can play a video. Guess where the magic school bus is going this time? I'll give you a hint. You might need a skeleton key. So, I do not want to risk playing the whole video for copyright reasons. And play a game. Ah, uh, boy. What is with the sound effects? For a here's your chance. More product information. Here you go. Play a video. Arnold's missing some of the rocks and minerals in his collection. You know what that means. It's gonna be. Yep, you get the idea. That's your video, and I can play a game. I can't play a game, so maybe next time. Seatbelts, everyone. For a here's stop your chance. Playing the sound effects, please stop. There you go. Here's the video. Look, Miss Frizzle's got the whole world spinning in her hands. You know what that means. Yeah, you get the idea. I can't play a game because. Yeah, I can't. For an. Here's your. Oh, wait. No, damn it. No. no Come. Here's your. Uh, yep, yeah, there's a product information. Play a video. Got beaks. For no narration. There you go. You get the idea. Don't want to get copyright strike. Can't play a game. Get out of here. And that's MSB. The most annoying demo I ever played. And we got Pac Man. Microsoft Return of Arcade. Try version. I do have the Microsoft Return of Arcade, which has a lot of games, but this one I assume can only install Pac Man. But uh, yeah, um, we can well play some Pac Man on Windows ninety five and yeah, turn of Microsoft Arcade, and that game is it included in the trial version? Again, it's only have Pac Man, pole position. Click OK and uh, we can play the Pac Man. This. That's two. Brown and Dexter. Right. Uh, this. Okay, that is... Okay, that's how you play Pac-Man. Thank you for playing my... Yeah, 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 yeah. She likes Pac-Man. Picture. Really? Oh my gosh. I can love picture it. They're the moment. They're the memories. Most people treasure pictures. They help us relive fond memories, precious experiences with family and friends. But the fact is, most pictures end up packed away in boxes. Now there's a new way to relive your memories and share them like you never thought possible, as great family gifts to commemorate a special event for school projects. Just in So this Microsoft picture it. Capture it. Create it. Print it. Kodak. What a joke. Picture it. You get the idea. Uh, there's Pub 97. And Welcome to Microsoft Publisher 97. 
Fast, easy, and professional-looking graphic publications are yours with the newest edition of the top-selling desktop publishing program. Microsoft Publisher 97 allows people to handle extraordinary design, printing, and publishing challenges with successful results. So go ahead, indulge your taste for excellence. Microsoft Publisher 97 will be there for you. For a closer look at Microsoft Publisher 97, simply select the tour you yeah, I'm new. Using Page Wizard Design Assistance, Microsoft Publisher 97 will automatically design and construct your publication. There are dozens of different page wizards to simplify projects such as creating newsletters. Page Wizard Design Assistants are the fastest, easiest way to create custom. And because Microsoft Publisher 97 is Office compatible, when you insert a Microsoft Word document into your brochure, you can edit your text in Microsoft Publisher 97. Or choose Word as your story editor and... And that's not all. Microsoft Publisher 97 can even anticipate when you need help and automatically provide pop-up tips as you work or choose to ask for help when you want. Once you get used to the ease of Microsoft Publisher 97, you'll be amazed at how professional and capable it is. You'll find so take a look. You can use a fancy for use a pull quote in an easy you can add color, shades and shadows. And plus you can choose from an expansive array of Microsoft Publisher 97 also includes special design. You'll get the professional quality results you want with my. And there you go. You get the idea. Thanks, Microsoft Publisher 97. And you can buy it now. Okay, so there's Tide. Kind of scared. Is she going to advertise me a, a um, Tide Pods? Hey. Oh, Microsoft Gen. Hey, we not tied ponds. January tenth, twenty four ninety five. Oh, what is that? What is that? Aircraft carrier? Hangar, maybe? Well, that was fighting. I thought it was Tide Pods, but I guess it's fighting. What is this? Come on to you, Moby. Why am I watching a movie? There's some dialogue. The ultimate battle for Earth will not be fought in the stars. It will be fought in the sea. What is this? What? We're fighting on the water now? Uh, okay. Uh -oh. So that's how fists die. Pew, 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 pew. I could play the Wilhelm stream over there, but missed opportunity. Phew. Neon. Neon. What? What? What happened? What happened? What is this? Deadly tide. 
Okay, I thought it was just Tide Pods or Tide Detergents. Okay, well, and we got Scruck. What's this? If you think you know racing games, you oh ain't seen God. nothing yet. Microsoft Monster Truck Madness. Challenge your senses. Choose from four exciting types of racing. Tournament Circus Red. Your ticket gets you the whole seat, but you'll only need the end. Multiplayer mode allows you to race against your friends via the internet or modem to modem. <laughs> Okay, okay, you get the idea, okay, um, man, that's loud. And that's it for the demos folder. So, we got done with the demos folder, now the boring part, drivers. As you can see, there's all the driver files and driver folders for drivers. So, nothing special here. Fun stuff. Hey, we're back to doing some fun stuff and hover! Yeah, let's go ahead and open my hover. Now, for this part, I was going to show you a gameplay of hover on Windows 75, but hover, I mean, for some reason, VMware had a problem with hover and Windows 75. So instead of that, I was showcased that playing on Windows NT, which I have right here. So, no clips are lost. Okay, now we have hover here. Now we can just, yep, we got music, sound effects, and stuff. So press F2. And there we go. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, what's up, flag? Flag's not there. Okay, go back, go back, go back. Stop hanging walls. Oh, yeah, you got spring. And whatever that is. And that is. Oh, shield. Give me that. No, okay, fine. Flag. Oh, that's my flag. No! Oh, boy. Where's that flag? No! I'm gonna lose. What's up here, maybe? Aha, there it is. Where's that flag? Aha, there it is. Where's that one last flag? Ow. Oh boy. Where's that flag? Ah, where's that flag? Where's that one last flag? Got here. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Finally. Okay, that is a quick game of hover. Look at clouds here. Beautiful clouds. There's any five, all that good stuff, and videos. One of them being good time. So that's good time. This is welcome one. Windows. Literally windows. It's it's literally windows because where do you want to go today? This is welcome to or windows. Oh look at this. Look at that. Microsoft, where do you want to go today? Ooh.
start menu. Oh, start button. Where do you want to go today? I would like to go somewhere. So that's all the, the fun stuff. And now let's get some help or the tour. I'm going to the window store. Like you can like start a program. Yes, accessories, programs, accessories. Red pad. Okay, fine. I need to click. What do you mean I need to click once? Every click once. I did click close button. Pain. There you go, done. That's the tour here. Don't forget. I know, I know how to use Windows. Now we need to go to the other and we got change CP. This program changes to the MSR's code page for Windows 95 and should only be used on the new installations. Fortunately, it's not a new installation, so sorry. Oh, clipboard. Oh yeah, the clipboard history. So, for example, if I were to copy like a file here and paste it here, name it whatever that is, and well, apparently, I can't copy unfortunately. So I have to close that. For example, if I were to copy this and put that here, type in ATP and do this. What does that say? ATP is scaly. I. So it's my local my local clipboard or clipbook viewer. Men it hell hyper terminal fonts and yeah it's just fonts for men it hell. Oh my god, what the heck? That look like QR code. Miscellaneous uh CFG back. Oh this is the registry backup, so like to make a backup with the registry. Oh There you go. I can uh, restore the directory and all that stuff. And this help. EPTS. Uh, uh, my my document didn't print at all. Uh, try to print it off and back on. Okay, I did that. And guess what? It worked. Enhanced print troubleshooter. Like what EPTS says. ERU, which is the Microsoft Windows 95 Emergency Recovery Utility. So, uh, what's it going over there? I don't know. Okay, MSD. MSD, oh, this is the uh, uh, Microsoft Diagnostic. And EPP, virus manufacturer, I know. Phoenix BIOS. I like stuff. All the MSDOS and the old MSDOS, good lord. Uh, exit. Okay. Help. Oh, the DOS help file. So, in Word View, so you can only view MS Word documents. So, let's go ahead and install that. Yes. Install. Please. Thank you. Install. Set up something in system, it's done. Nice. Okay, now we have Microsoft Word Viewer. You can open up a Microsoft Word document in the C drive window, then do it. Grip. I love mean, networking thing. But if I were to type something, you can't add the document because it's Word Viewer. However, you can copy. It likes Microsoft Word View. And that's the other folder. Next up is the sampler. This is the sampler that is. Oh, it's Microsoft logo being drawn. Where do you want to go today? Start.
might be some sampler. Now it's intense, but uh, here you go. Welcome to the interactive CD sampler from Microsoft. Where do you want to go today? The possibilities are practically unlimited when you choose any of these destinations. Uh, let's go to Productivity Central. Microsoft makes it easy for you to work, organize, create, and manage. Check out Picture It, Greetings Workshop, Automap Streets Plus, and Publisher, so and see for yourself. Or Escape the everyday doldrums of work, work, work. Try your hand at Deadly Tide or Hellbend. Turn your quest for knowledge into an adventure with Encarta Encyclopedia, Encarta World Atlas, Automap Streets Plus. Hey, it's the uh, cool sites of visits. Uh, Microsoft Corporation, the website Microsoft Network. Awed by the prospect of a vast... Create your own action-packed movie with a free trial version of 3D Movie Maker. Climb aboard the magic school bus to experience four different adventures. Or learn about Easy Ball, a special yep, tool that'll make your computer more friendly for kids. Click on the catalog option to learn about other exciting Microsoft products for kids. It's a dedicated catalog button. And lastly, we got the Windows 95 folder, which contains all of the goodies and contents of the Windows 95 folder. Now, there's a new folder called Content. If we take a look in here, we have a lot of like um, CD cast. AOL. Tell me more. That thing. Upgrade me. And that happened. Nope. So that's AOL. Audio net. What is that? Hear it. Forks. Live radio. Whatever that says. <laughs> Teleport. See it. Live TV, business events, Pol nope, okay, nope, <clears throat> I'm missing it, okay, uh, uh, default, com, no, technology network, what is this, uh, where do you find, where do you go find about all technology, E-commerce. Oh god, it's getting too fast. I can't see. TMP.net. However, I like the channel it did not work. Because they don't exist anymore. Okay, I see that. Uh, where's index? CNN. You're seeing an interactive. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's see it. Uh, comic. Go. Uh, call online. Nobody's online. Discover intro technology robot hand diamonds uh, dolphin human. Uh, what is happening over here? Uh, what's the music is all glitched up though, but ah. <clears throat> is in your hand yours discover the channel online okay uh, well I, I blame VMware for that issue not mid 25 hello Disney 
More info. I continue. Network. Okay, it appeared. Congratulations! You found the ultimate internet experience for the whole family. <clears throat> it's only from Disney. Gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get the idea. Hey, hey look, pool three. Alright, yep. Epicur. Oh, food channel. What? What the hell did I do? Did I... Epicurious. Yeah, 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 I don't know what that says. Uh, ESPN. Where is it, bro? There's audio here. What? That's not... That's not the ESPN logo. Uh, ESPN logo, but okay. Expedia. It needs I Explore to open this up. And there it is. Uh, what the hell is going on over there? Uh, okay. Oh, well, this is open. <clears throat> Orbs. The only website you will ever need. Is it about that? Fortune. Funny. Uh, Ixwood. That thing. Investor. Well, kind of. Uh, I will. I will. Yeah, I'm not gonna read that. Nope. Mm -mm. Impotent. This. This. What is it? Get the latest news. Emerson BC. Manage to invest Microsoft investor. Plan to book a trip. Expedia. Sign for your next car. PowerPoint. Whatever that says. And gaming zone. Oh, God. Fine. Oh, my God. We'll talk this. Okay, okay, that says MTV. Oh my god. Okay, um, MTV. Yeah, I'm feeling down. Which of these following will help you avoid developing a rotted out liver? Oh, god. Fat lungs. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Uh,. I call it milk, maybe? Uh, that thing? Say it before. Uh, record. What? <sighs> what? That's it? Oh, come on, really? Is it, is it frozen? Oh my god. Ugh. Ah, how funny, how funny, IE, how funny. Oh, uh, yeah, welcome back to grade school. We're doing this again. Uh, horn? Okay, thanks, Horn. This. Nothing. Sigh. Uh, what? Huh. What? <laughs> huh. Okay, I, I'm I'm guessing it's the VMware sound problem, not the actual thing. But NBC was it even worse now? What's this? Your desktop feed, best in daily entertainment. Here you go, NBC. That's not the NBC in okay. Okay. What? <laughs> what is this? Okay. Oh, 
Okay, you can do that then. Okay. Uh, NGC. I think it's broken. Loading. Media. Okay. This doesn't work. Sound. What? Okay. Buzz. Nothing. Okay. That's some nice things we got there. <clears throat> NYT. New York Times. This thing can. Uh, People. People magazine. <clears throat> Just look at this uh, animation we got there. What do I have to save? My business? <laughs> what? what? What is happening? What? What? What is this? Q. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Snap. Index. Okay, well, that's snap. Um, a split line. Fourth line. Fourth line, the first choice for Yep, okay. Time. Uh, open. Time. Uh, what's doing? What's doing? God, it's doing. Uh, uh, B Bros, uh, W Bros, the uh, Wonder Brothers. That thing. Wired. What the heck? What is this? What? Missing over the new. Uh. What? What is this? What? No, 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 no. That's. That guy. Call him trash. Cars are shrinking. What's going on here? American. Okay. Oh, 2020 hasn't been a good year. It has been an interesting one, I would say. And middle CE. Cool. Uh, WSK, Wall Street Journal. Yeah, and CD net. What in the hey? Why is it flickering? <laughs> God, okay. What is happening? Games. Okay, okay, so like that, um, like CDNet index the content folder. Uh, Windows 95. So this is it. This is all the Windows 95 setup files needed to install Windows 95. Other than that, that concludes the contents of the Windows 95 folder. But before I go, let's play a quick game of Hellbender because, well, I haven't been able to do it, so let's do that. Uh, okay, okay, new game. Welcome, counselor. I am E. Uh, okay. Now, I'm an enhanced virtual entity. I am programmed to assist you in securing coalition victory. I will guide you through every battle. Where are we going? Uh oh. Uh, boy. Did it lock up? Did it lock up? It did lock up. Congratulations. Thank you. Fight dragons and still.
It crashed again. Did oh my god, this thing is not going good. But yeah, that's his uh, Microsoft Help Bender. And uh, well, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching today's video of the contents of the Windows 95 CD-ROM. I hope this video was enjoyable and informative. Until next time, see you later.